what happens is you start to get this imprint from childhood that you have to do something in order for mommy, daddy to love you. So you get trained to sort of prostitute yourself. It's some sort of minute prostitution. Whether you're a boy or a girl. That you learn the game of manipulation to do things that you get accepted and you get loved. Because if you go to school, you eat your vitamins, you eat your spaghetti, a mommy says, oh, good boy. Mommy tells daddy, look at him. He's such a good boy. Come over here, sweetheart. Give me a kiss. Daddy, he was so good. He ate his vitamins, he went to school, he had his spaghetti, and daddy will just kisses you, hugs you, and gives you a lollipop. So you get a reinforcement for your action that you did something, and then you get love and accepted, and you get accepted. In the same time, when you do something that's not appropriate or your parents don't agree, Parents, community, school, army, government, all of them. Then it comes in a form of a disapprovement and punishment because you did something wrong. Your parents weren't home and you and your younger brother or sister ate your spaghetti and put spaghetti sauce all over the white couches and the white carpet parents come back home and guess what's going to happen to you you're going to get spanked or punished something some sort for your bad deeds so now you're starting to get brainwashed and trained to come to this way that when you do something that's not accepted by authorities, whatever the authority is, parents, school, teacher, government, army, work, then you get a negative feedback. And then when you do something that they accept, then you get positive feedback. So you're already starting to believe that acceptance and love is coming from the utter world it comes from the outside then you're listening to a lot of love songs all these love songs excuse me and and love movies and what happens is what happens in all these uh, movies for example I use one of them as an example just to make things simple there's thousands of these movies that there is for example the boy who's kind of disadvantaged and they're in school and there is a football game going on and the this disadvantaged boy likes this girl and she doesn't go with him because he's poor or he's disadvantaged. Then he makes the final goal and the school wins. And as he, they win, their team wins. And then he gets the trophy girl. So he becomes a hero and he gets the girl. And we have thousands of movies like that. That when you succeed, you get the boy, you get the girl, you get something. So now we're getting brainwashed. We're getting conditioned to believe this as a society, as a culture. As this is going forward, what happens is also how many songs, how many movies there are, and how many times it has, has happened to you that you fall in love with someone 
and you're deeply in love, you're a couple, and after a while, your love, your lover, your husband, your boyfriend, your fiance, whatever is the story, will tell you, I'm no longer, I don't love you anymore. I'm not into you. I don't want to be with you. Or they leave you or they cheat on you. So you're together and this person leaves. And what happens to you normally? You crash. You're deeply heartbroken. You're destroyed. You ext ext extremely feel wounded. We all have gone through heartbreaks, haven't we? Many times, some of us. And some of us get very bitter. Some of us say that, oh, I'm not going to open my heart to anybody anymore. So there's this residue of an emotional damage on us that continues to haunting us the rest of our lives. So what happened here is you're projecting, it's another conditioning. Pay attention to this one. This is very important because this is gonna save you a lot of pain and heartbreak. You've been conditioned, okay? Conditioned, brainwashed to believe that you fall in love with someone. You actually fell in love with another meat. This is a meat and you fell in love with this person. And when this person leaves you, you're destroyed. Your reality is shattered. And there are times that's been that the person who is heartbroken, they committed suicide. They took their own life because they thought they can't live any longer. And this is it. It's been so painful. Or they became alcoholic or they became drug addict or something very tragic happened to them after that. However, when we start to wake up on this path, as we get closer to the light, we start to realize the love that you fell in love with someone, you didn't really fall in love with that person. That person is your mirror, is in front of you. This person that you really, this person you're really in love with, it's really your mirror. You're looking at yourself. You're experiencing the love which is within yourself. This person that you fell in love with, it's pulled the trigger inside you. And by pulling this trigger, it activated the love which is within yourself. You are experiencing the divine self. You are drinking your own juices, the love that is coming the fountain of love is within yourself it's always there it's always generating but you've been programmed to believe it comes from the outside so when you get it from the outside consequently you're going to lose it at one point in your life you will lose it and since you're so invested and projected that it came from the outside, you crash when you lose it.